sometimes, like mentally. Sometimes you just lie in your bed, but you can't just get up. You, you, you ask yourself, what, what is this? Oh, that's fear. I've seen dozens of friends, personal mentors, teachers, and some relatives being targeted. They had been interned, imprisoned, killed. I work as a journalist at Voice of America. My beat at VOA is news about Uyghurs and other ethnic minorities in China. Every time I cover news, do interviews, and read reports about the repression against the Uyghurs. To me, it's always reliving the trauma that I have lived. I've read this book three times at least. The title of this book is Night, and it's written by a Holocaust survivor by the name Ellie Weasel. It actually kind of resonates with my experience when I read this book. It reads that like this. The bell. It was already time to part, to go to bed. The bell regulated everything. It gave me orders, and I executed them blindly. I hated that bell. Whenever I happened to dream of a better world, I imagined a universe without a bell. In my experience, the bell can be replaced uh, by the Chinese national anthem of, of the Communist Party. I have been oppressed by that anthem.